let's learn about Pythagoras theorem. Pythagoras theorem state that a square plus b square equal c square for right triangle. Right triangle it's mean here 90 degree. Let's say here a and here b and here c. So a square plus b square equal to c square for right triangle. In this video we will understand and explain why a square plus b square equal c square and we will see how this work and we will do it visually here so before to start in this one let's say what the number satisfy this equation so the most common number three four five so three square nine four square sixteen then it will be twenty five nine plus sixteen it will be twenty five the square of 5 equal 25 so satisfy this equation the same thing 6 8 10 36 this one it will be then 64 then 100 which is to satisfy this equation or 5 12 13 so any number you can think about it and it will satisfy this equation so and of course this it's not obvious for this right triangle so you can't imagine that this for example this triangle satisfy this equation or this this the same thing satisfy this equation it's really hard to imagine that this equation satisfy every right triangle so now we will do it visually let's say you have four times of this right triangle so we have four let's say we the first one we put it here the first triangle we put it here then we rotate this triangle the second one we put it here so we have this the second triangle then if rotate this one here then it will be like this then if we rotate it it will be like this so we have here four triangle which inside this square shape so here the long one here a so here a of course this is the hypotenuse because the opposite of the 90 degree angle and here a here a because here a so we rotate it here then here then here and of course this one here B then here B then here B the last one here B of course these are C so here we have four triangle so the length of this side a plus B the same thing the length of this side a plus B the same thing here so we have here square square here we have the length is a plus b so we have inside this shape we have triangle on the frame of this square and now we will use this property the sum of angles of triangle equal the straight angles equal 180 the straight angle it's look like this so here 180 degree here the sum of angles of triangle here we have 180 so we have here 90 degree so let's say we use green color so let's say here we don't know this angle and I will put here X which we don't know this angle as well so th here we will use the dot between A and C so here we have a C we will put dot a C will put dot the angle between a and C dot uh, the same thing here for between B and C we will put X B and C X X X 
okay now we here we have here 180 180 degree for the sum of these angles uh, of course here we have this one plus this one equal 90 because this already 90 degree here 90 degree so here the sum of this one it will be 90 degree the dot and X here the same thing here the dot and X we have 90 degree then this one it will be 90 degree the same thing here the sum of these 90 degree because we know these the sum of these two angle because here these two angle equal 90 so this one here the same thing it will be 90 then here it will be 90 degree the same thing here and here so now here we have square shape inside the big square shape the area of this square equal c square the area of the big square equal a plus b multiplied by a plus b so from this way we will prove that a square plus b square equals c square so let's compute the area of the big square the area of the big square we have two ways to compute it one way and here the second way the first way we can multiply this side this side to compute the whole thing here the whole area so a, a plus B multiply by A plus B which is very easy to compute it A multiply A which is A square A multiply B which is AB plus B multiply A which is AB you can write it BA but the same thing AB I will write it AB then B multiply B by b which is b square then we will get a square plus 2ab plus b square the second way the second way to add this area plus these four area so here we have I will put it in another color here blue so we have four triangle one two three four and we have square here we have square so if we add these four triangle and the square we will get the area of this the whole shape so let's say this one first the area of this one so we have C square the area of this one plus the area of the four triangle these four triangle and we know we multiply by four and we know the the area of the triangle is equal half multiply by a multiply by B because the area the area of triangle equal half multiply by base multiply by height and we know the height is here because here 90 degree this is 90 degrees so you have to imagine yourself you are here so the height is here then the base is here and of course you can imagine you are also you are set here this is the height this is the base so you can think as much as you think but you have to know if this here 90 degree 
So you have to multiply half, multiply A, B, or half, multiply by B, A, the same thing. So we will t multiply half, multiply by A, B. Half, multiply by A, B. Which is C square plus 4 multiplied by half, which is 2, A, B. So now we have to compare these two together. Let's do it in another color. So here we have a square plus 2ab plus b square equal c square plus 2ab. Of course, this one cancel with this one. So we have a square plus b square equal c square so we have it here so now we we have proved that a square plus b square equal c square by comparing these two things which is the total area of this shape comparing with the area of four triangles plus the area of this square of course here is height I will write it again so here multiply by height next we will do another way to prove Pythagoras theorem and we will do it visually as well see you next